Hello, how are you? How are you? Yes, you. Hello, everyone. What's going on? Hope you're all doing well. We're back on a Monday night. Monday night. It's been a while since I've done a Monday night on Gran Turismo. But we are, we are here. We are here. Okay. Um, let's. I'll show you the races. Lots of repetition. Lots of repetition. New thing today. You're seeing it in the title. Okay, you can't see it just yet. There it is. Oh, there we go. Pedal cam. There are my feet. Say hello. Hello. Oh my god, that, that's that's so cheesy. Okay. You can see the races here somewhere. Okay, um, what have we got? What have we got? One make around Sukuba in the Mazda MX-5. Route 3 into Lagos. We've had that one a lot. That's come up many times before. So we've got Tokyo Expressway. East Outer Loop. Route 4. That one's come up a few times. So... Hmm... And of course, I need to get my driver rating 
trying to get my driver rating up to 50,000 A plus. Um, and we are, I'm almost there. I'm on about 43,000 at the moment. And if you, it depends obviously how good the races go, but you can get like a thousand per race if you're good. One moment. One moment, everybody. So you can see my statistics. Um, exclamation mark shadow stats or exclamation mark super stats in the chat will bring up the link to my statistics on my profiles. You're up to date with those if you want to. Bring Google Chrome up. Oh, hello. We've all gone very dark here. Didn't want that. Can't be A plus and R four M. Little greedy. Why can't I get this chrome up on here? Thank you, it's Retlig for the seventy nine pence. Very nice of you, mate. All right, we're going to jump into this race. I've gone for the the Kindermobile Atenza Group Three. How about it? Um, hello, Travisio. Hello, everyone. Hello, ev which account is it? So this is the R4M Shadow GT, my second profile, which is actually almost higher ranked than my than my main account. <laughs> Lol. Um, I think. Once I get this to A+, and before the FIA season start properly, I will have to do a serious and proper grind on my main account. Try and get it as high as I can. So the maximum driver rating you can get is 75,000. Um, I'm not sure I'll be able to get to that. It's very difficult. It's very, very difficult. But, um, but, I just need to get it higher, basically, because at the moment I'm not, I'm nowhere near the top top split. I'm like second or third split at best, so need to, need to, need to change that. I reckon I can get it above sixty thousand. I've never got it above fifty six thousand. That's as high as I've ever got it. But then part of the reason is because I keep messing around in stupid races, <laughs> keep getting killed. So um. That's what this second account will be for doing all the silly races and preserving my main account for the the big boy races with the FIA. Let's have a look at the leaderboards. Oh, 4 GT, interesting. Okay, I'm pretty sure the R8 is the best car. Yeah, it's just weird to drive the R8. It's a very slidey car. Hello, Rory. How you doing, mate? Very good to see you again. Dibbler, Mark Ross. Let's do some shout outs. Tom. Patrick Blake in the chat. Rory Smith. Reardonator. Do you already use the shifter? Um, on this game, no. I haven't used it yet. Um, it would make sense if I t to use it in the, um, the Mazda MX-5 one make race, so race A. It would make sense. 30.7 on time. Keys second in the world. I've done a 31.9, which is decent. I know I can go quicker though. I could probably do a 31.5. But yeah, Lightning. Lightning did a 30.6, I think it was last time, but. Damn, this guy. It'd be good to see the global leaderboard because if um because on Qlos Prime you can see the global leaderboard, and a lot of the time it's Japanese players who get the quickest times, and they are actually really quick on time trial. Like, Lightning struggles to win the time trials overall. Right, let's do a couple of laps. We've got three, four minutes. You can see my feet in action.
So the pedals I'm using, the Fanatec CSL Elite. The brake pedal in the middle here is the, um, the low cell pedal, which is very, very responsive. Actually, no, I actually changed my socks, especially for this stream. How about that? No, no sweaty socks from the whole day. Even though this race comes up so much, um, I, I like it. I do like this race, five laps into Lagos Group 3. It's just... It's just like, I don't know, why couldn't they have given us Autopolis short circuit in group four or something? You know, something new, something different. So we had this one so many times. Right, I've got enough time here to do one flying lap. If I can do less than 132.5, I'll be very happy. Let's go. One lap to do it. Don't bottle it. line that's an awful line Should wait, yeah, that should be just below 0.5. Should be at 0.4. There we go. How about that? Just like clockwork, eh? Even if you can churn out mid to low 32s in the race, be all right. I think most most of the people I did a couple of this this race earlier. The guys who are winning were. You need to be very low 32s or into the 31s. Obviously, it depends on who's in there. But I only did three races, and everyone who the faster lap was always a very low 32 or a high 31. Okay. Um, the car is the Atenza Group 3. Starting 11th. Jesus. I actually got key in here. So that's actually a very stacked lobby. But that's, that's exactly what I need. Because um, if I can beat a couple of them, then my driver rating will go up quite, quite high. So the top two are actually... I, I think actually the top three are the top three in the world on the leaderboard. And we got have we got Wi-Fi password in fifth. Today's beverage is Fanta Fruit Twist. What a drink. I've been trying to not drink fizzy drinks, and I haven't for about a couple of weeks actually. But um good old Fanta Fruit Twist, can't resist. Is Key streaming as well?
this stream is brought to you by Fanta Fruit Twist and Kinder Chocolate. Consume as part of a balanced diet. Don't be silly now, kids. The pit lane is so bloody long here that you don't actually really get much time to practice. I'm going to do this line. That's quite a good line in the race. I'll try that one. Yeah, that's going to work. Fury was robbed. He, actually, he genuinely was robbed. And discos, of course, it discos, man. I'll get those discos. I need to buy discos, yeah, for the next for the next time. Right, I need to get my qualifying time down. I think a little bit. It's a good lobby. It's a very good lobby. I mean, my time is not too bad. I think most people would be sticking to this race rather than race C. Oh no, what's going on? No. Oh no, what the hell? I'm gonna have a massive gap now. Well, okay then. Well, that's messed it up, hasn't it? Now I'm up against a load of bloody McLarens who are just all rapid in a line. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Is that guy still there? I don't know. Oh my god, they are clattering into each other. Oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, well... Oh man. Come on. Let's see what we can do from there. Race has been completely ruined. It's like a multi-class race now. Well, rip. Need to just get. Forget about class one, class two, just get to the front of this group, and that's a victory. Well, this group. God, they are battering each other here. Slipstream someone. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to have to slipstream. Ugh. My God. Go, see you later. Give up, mate. Give up. driving that well this is quite a this is actually a very difficult race stacked lobby mate need to get just need to get back in that slipstream and I'll be all right I think oh, you, 
This guy is an absolute moron. Uh, sometimes that works. Sometimes you can just cut it when you've been hit, but it didn't work. This could not be going much worse. More colourful socks next time. I looked at my drawer, I've only got black socks. Basically I wear black 98% of the time. But yeah, I need to buy some more colourful socks I think. So you can actually distinguish my foot from the pedal, because everything's black on this setup. I was on a 31-2 in the race, Jesus. I just need to just pull away as much as I can from that group so that I can serve the penalty and stay where I am. I think that's the main priority. Because even if I get past this guy, I'm not going to beat him unless he crashes because of the penalty. No two six. Let's do better than that. Buy some bacon socks. There must be some out there somewhere. This guy's actually uh, slowed down a little bit there. I just hope he just doesn't hold me up. It's the only worry. And he, he probably will do a little bit for here, but then he can tow me to the line with the slipstream. Stupid race that was. Yep, comfortably got the eleventh still. Oh man, that'll have to do, won't it? That'll have to do. Not great, not great.
That was just... Well, I'm kind of glad, though, that it was a high-quality race in terms of the people that are in there. Obviously, I don't know what the hell that glitch was, and it just had to affect us all at the back, annoyingly. What's the pace in there? I did a 32.6. Not a great lap. I think my last lap would have been quicker. 31.7, 31.8, 31.7... 31.9... Yeah, so the pace up there is, is very hot. I, I can do that kind of pace, high 31s, low 32s. In an, in the Atenza, maybe I just need to go over to the, the Audi. Well, I'm gonna see what my stats are. I can't seem to get it on the screen for some reason. Okay, my, my driver rating went down by 100 points, so it wasn't too bad. I lost points, but it wasn't a lot. So let's do this. Race C. I do need to improve my qualifying lap. I only did one lap, so it's not a great lap. I'm going to drive the Huracan, which is the car to use here. What is a good Group 3 car? Um, there's a few. There's a few different ones that work well. The Audi R8 does seem to work very well, especially, um, especially when there's no fuel or tyres to worry about. If it's race B, it's okay. The R8 does very well. It, it's very good at Nürburgring, like into Lagos. Um, I'm trying to recall off the top of my head. Toyota. The Toyotas are very good. The FT1 and the Supra. Both very quick. BMW are, are good. What's the other brand? Porsche, I think, is very good. The 911. Some of the Mercedes are okay. And his name is Super GT. Mediums or hards on race C? Um, actually, yeah, this is. Wait, if you mean for my qualifying lap. Oh, yeah, I haven't changed that. Okay, that's a good point. I don't know what the strategy is for the race, to be fair. I don't know what is best. But uh, my qualifying lap was done on the, on the hard, so thanks for reminding me, actually. Yeah, the R8 is a very weird car to drive in Group 3. It, um, it's almost like you have to drive it sideways. Like, you have to slide it to get it to go quick. Got enough time for two laps. Yeah, the FT1 hard zero stop says Paul Swales. Okay. Yeah, Group Four is a weird one in terms of strategy because it, you often can get away with a no stop. You can often do that in a lot of Group Four races. Yeah, I've actually got a friend called Wi-Fi Password who's actually called Wi-Fi Password. I don't know if that's inspired by the actual Wi-Fi Password guy. What's your setup expensive? Um, yes. But, I mean, I didn't have to pay for everything. Some some of it was given to me, so Fanatec did provide me with some of it. Not, not everything I have from Fanatec they gave to me. I bought some of it. But. I mean, it's a lot of money, but... You know, it's, it's like, it's an investment for the channel, um, and it's something new. And I suppose, you know, when I'm getting, like, the, I've got the page, I've got Patreon support, people are backing me on there, so I can take the money and just use it to sort of further the channel. And of course, when I, you know, get donations and channel members and things like that so you can just use that towards improving the channel which is large in large part where I've got the money from to buy the setup right, okay that was a really conservative lap not the best
Super Cheers, Simon. Yes, I saw that. Thank you very much, uh, by the way. And ran for money. That's, that's the aim of the game, mate. Thank you very much, Simon, for the donation and, of course, for the Patreon support. Right, one more lap. Well, 209.5. That's really not that great. Need to get that down to 207, I think, at least. Dirty Ivan, do you work beside making YouTube videos? And if yes, what are you doing? Um, no. So actually, last year, I think it was probably about six months ago, I I have made the switch to doing this full time. So at the moment, this is my job. Uh, so thank you, Dirty Ivan. But yeah, this is my job now. Well, I don't really see it as a job, though, to be honest. It's just my life. That's what I'm, just what I do. And his name is Super GT. Hey, Super GT, have you been shepherded wide into the tyre barrier today? Not today, no, but things have gone wrong in that first race, so things could go wrong again. And that could happen, you never know. Thank you very much for the donation there, Asian. Okay, this should... No, oh, it'll be just over a 20... It'll be a 208.0. I mean, yeah, there is work. I mean, the thing is about YouTube is that... Um, I don't think people, like say someone who doesn't do it, who doesn't make videos, who just watches videos, it's perhaps hard to understand exactly what goes into it because I think there's an assumption that, oh, you're just playing games all day. It's like, well, that's not really the case. I wish it was, but you know, there's a lot of editing to do, a lot of sorting out of files. I mean, like, for example, sorting out this pedal camera, that's, that took a couple of hours. Getting the right angle, getting the right lighting, getting the right camera. Make sure it works and doesn't lag. So it's just things like that that you're working through every day. There's lots of problems. There's lots of technology problems you just have to sort out. Trying to edit something new in a different way, you have to learn how to do it. Um, have to re uh, render videos, that takes a while, have to edit them, that takes ages, have to upload them, make a thumbnail, like that, that stuff, I wouldn't say it's fun, it's not fun really, but that's part of it. Um, but I wouldn't change it, I wouldn't go back to my old job, let's put it that way. It's Red Leg is back again with another 199. My kids love your videos, say hi to Jack and Ollie. Hello Jack and Ollie, thank you for tuning in guys, and uh, thank you for Liking the videos. Need someone to edit for you. Um, I've had this kind of request. Um, it, it could work uh, having that weight taken off, but I've always felt as though it's best if I do it because I can just edit exactly how I want to do it. There's a lot of jokes and things I like to just put in there, so. I'm not sure it's always possible just to hand over editing to someone else. Not on my videos, anyway. Is the kind only viable option for race C? Um, it's definitely the best car, but... Oh, what's going on? Just got reset, okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone's in Huracan, there's an Aston Martin there. Um... I don't know, it might be worth trying out later on, like a different car, see if we can get... <coughs> Sorry. See if we can win in a different car.
GR Super. Mate, today is the day I am watching for two years. Nice stuff. Yeah, it's weird, like, I think that my channel has been around for nearly eight years. I started, I started it in May 2011, nearly eight years ago. It's crazy. Oh, Random Call Sign. Hello, mate. How are you doing? So, a guy called Random Call Sign, you see him in the chat there. He He's uh, another uh, YouTuber. If you haven't heard of him, uh, go and have a look on his channel. He was actually playing GT Sport yesterday. Keep up the good work, mate. Won my first two races on Suzuka last night, watching your breaking points and learning. Thanks. Oh, God, here we go. Cheers, Alderas, 24. Yeah, breaking points are really important. That's uh, one of the most important things. If you get that right, then um, that really does help you a lot. 17 times tire wear, Jesus. Oh, uh, well, okay. Mm, that's annoying. I thought that problem wasn't going to happen anymore. That, that stopped happening. That's the first time I've had that in about two weeks. Uh, that I, I swear they said in the, in the last update that that was meant to stop happening. Ah. <sighs> Well, it's clearly not fixed, is it? Um, where's my... Let's reset Let's quickly. Uh, how do we do it? There we go. What's my least favourite car? In the game, do you mean? Oof. Really hard question. A lot of people ask me what's my favourite and like least favourite car. I just, I don't even have an answer. <laughs> I don't even know. I just like driving things. I don't really think about the best or the worst of them. I was thinking the Audi TT, but I think... I think it's just really bad on tyre wear. That's the problem with it. Um, I think it just really suffers on the front end on the tyres. I think that's the main issue with the Audi TT. I mean, we could try it. I mean, it would be worth a try. There's not much point in doing that race over and over using the same car. Um, right. We could step into we could just do this race quickly. Practice the shifter. Let's see if the shifter works. Got like four minutes to qualify. I like to chill and eat pizza watching your videos and streams. Cheers, man. That's the life, mate. You're living the life. Eating pizza and watching Super GT doesn't get better than that. How old is Igor Fraga? I think I think he's 20. I think he's 20. 19. No, I think he's 20. I think he's 20. You can probably Google it. I think he's, he might even have his own Wikipedia page because he's a real life racing driver. Right. <sighs> If this works. Apparently shifters are meant to help a lot. Oh, it does, baby. Yes. Get that TCS off. I don't know if you're meant to take your foot off the throttle, but... I can just use the paddle shift, it's a lot easier, I think. Wait. Is it quicker lifting?
can't tell if there's a difference. I don't think there is. Yeah, there's no yeah, there's no need for the clutch, unfortunately, but I mean I'll be honest, I, I struggle when it comes to like I mean I can drive a real car obviously, but when it comes to clutching in a game, I, I actually struggle. I really need to practice it. Like healing and towing, I something I can't do. I do need to get good. As a carter, did you ever race against someone now who is top level? So that penalty. Um, well, I'm, I am, I'm still racing. I'm not an ex-carter. I still can't race. Um, I have raced against Jolian Palmer. So he's a, he was an F1 driver. That's probably the highest level of person I've raced against. Um, someone else, you, if you know GP3 from a couple of years ago, there's a guy called Adrian Quaife Hobbs who was racing in that series. I've raced against him. So there's a couple of people who I've raced against who are pretty high level. Should be able to just finish this lap. David Ha, thank you very much. Well, with your twelve dollars, I'll go and buy some some better socks, mate. I, I guess people want some more colour, don't they? Everything's very black and grey down there. Right, here we go. What's it going to be? Mid mid twelve, I think. 12.5. Um, Palmer. Jolin Palmer, I think... Well, I know he's part of the BBC... Well, he was part of the BBC like, F1 media team. I know he was doing that. I don't know exactly what he's doing now. I presume he's racing somewhere, but I, I don't know. And his name is Super GT. You need bacon socks with the bacon hoodie. I'll have a look on Amazon tonight. For some Amazon, for some, for, for some Amazon, for some, for some interesting socks. We'll have a look. Yeah, these pedals are really good, especially this me middle pedal here. Um, like you really have to, you can put a lot of force into that. Which is just how I like it. Gone. Thank you for becoming a member. Good stuff, mate. Welcome to the realm. Super GT. Damn, those sexy socks add 69 horsepower and super VTEC. You know it, mate. Foot cams are worth like half a second a lap. Science, everyone. It's science. 
I'm going through this fruit twist way too quickly. It's too nice. I need to stop. Right, here we go. It's time fifth. Whack TCS on. I didn't need it. Oh, that guy's slow. Cut back. Oh, Jesus, okay. I thought I was going to cut back on them, but not quite. Oh, oh. Lock the inside. Seven laps of this. Come on, hack Berta. Super GT. Oh, almost. Which is Matt Foster. Quick Cameron Fanta. Kinder Egg liveries lead to victory. Oh, I don't have the Kinder Egg livery, mate. There's no way I can win now. Unfortunately, it's just the way it goes. Super GT. Impress the ladies with your handbrake. Ladies love virtual skidding. They love it. It's the best way to pull a girl. Pull your handbrake. Jesus, almost killed him. Power on. Oh, he's, he's wide. Is he coming back on, though? Super duty. Jack Hemming. Have a feeling you'll finish sixth. The 666 donation. The number from hell. I sure as hell hope not. I should be fifth at worst here. What are you coming back at that angle for, bro? Oh, where's he gone? Ah. He's defended against him and he's just disappeared. He got sent to the realm, no doubt. I don't actually mind this kind, kind of racing, because at least it's close, but you make one little mistake and you, just, you lose so much time. It's very difficult. Looks like the top two are going to start fighting. Let's hope that's the case. The guy's floating a little bit. Yeah, they're defending up there. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week. Strong and move. This. Jack, Jack Hemming, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome. Along, my friend. Super duty. They're going to get a cut back on me. Good cut back, to be fair. I'll give him that. Last three digits of the Shadow Realm number. It's true. That's the origin of. Of the number 666, mate. I'm not, I'm not sure how he didn't get ahead of me there. He should have done. Two seconds behind. Oh my god, start fighting.
Yep, down to 1.7. I gained three temps there. I couldn't gain any more. Oh, that's too deep. That's way too deep. Just lost another three temps on that turn alone. <laughs> I love that song actually, Run to the Hills. Run to the Hills. Oh, I always remember playing on Rock Band. What a game that was. Getting gold stars on all the on the drums. Well, it doesn't look like I'm really gaining on anyone here. I need to learn how to take that final turn. Oh, he's drifting through turn one. This is the main problem, I think, with these slower car races. That it just becomes a stalemate. You see it in the FIA races when they put road cars, and no one can overtake each other. Unless they, unless you make a mistake, you're just gonna go around single file. This guy's made a couple of mistakes. I'm in the slipstream now, I think. Should be anyway. Yeah, stay in third. That's, that sounds better actually. I think that's uh, that's something I forget. You do need to minimise the amount of gear shifts that you do in these cars. Can I get away with it here? Yeah. If it doesn't bounce off the limit, you're all right. Yeah, it just shows I don't do these races enough. I keep forgetting things like that. I'm right on him now. Look at this. Hello. Are you scared now? Should be. mate <laughs> what a move wait he's there just don't let him cut back on me don't let him do a cut back that's what he wants to do I'm gonna block the insides no way you're doing it mate just no way ha <laughs> ha yeah boys That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Super GT. Yeah, boys. That's how you do it. All I had to do is such a simple manoeuvre. I'll just read that donation. It's Redlick. Thank you for the tenor. I'll get on to my thoughts of the first F1 race in just a moment. Thank you, it's Redlick, uh, Redlick though. Going into that hairpin, you basically want them to go... If he goes to the normal racing line, you go for the lunge. But if not, you want him to go to the inside so you cut back on the way out. So how do you get him to go to the inside? So pretend to go to the inside, he defends it, and then move back at the last second. What music are you into? Um, I like electronic music. I like rap music. I like heavy metal. I like rock music. I like some pop music. 
a lot of um electronic though and like drum and bass break beat that kind of thing that was a good race i'm happy with that and my thoughts on the first f1 race it was i mean it was a boring race in it wasn't that great of a race it was okay um there were some good moments in the midfield i suppose like Giovinazzi just being an absolute train but um have a look at my stats actually um the race to the front wasn't that exciting obviously i mean bottas just dominated it and just ran away verstappen overtaking vettel a little bit of interest there it's interesting just to see the pace of people but it, it's not the problem with australia is that it doesn't really represent the proper pace around different tracks so when we get to bahrain i think we'll see a different ferrari definitely Um, yeah, so Bahrain will be more interesting. It was, I mean, it was an okay race. I didn't actually wake up to watch. I just watched the highlights when I woke up a few hours later. It's on at like five in the morning here in the UK. Yeah, I, I agree, Vagabond, about the Hamilton and Bottas situation because everyone's saying, oh. Bottas like, had to move over all the time. Well, he did only because he was so far off in the championship. If he was level with Hamilton in the championship, they wouldn't have told him to like block, like slow down and slow down the Ferrari or something like that. If he was in the lead of the championship or... He did get some bad luck at the start of last year, to be fair to him, but at the same time, he didn't drive that well. Hopefully he drives better this year. I want him to drive well. Forza, Forza race regulations, that's an interesting question. So we've got um, on Forza, of course. Forza 7. We've got the race regulations, sort of closed beta for race marshals. So they're, they're trialling a system where you get penalties if you cut the track. Um, if you go wide, go on the grass or cut the track. Uh, they've got a penalty system where they add time to your race. And it looks promising, actually. It looks good. I, I really hope it works. And in April, they're going to open that beta to everyone. So that'll be interesting to take part in, see how it goes. It's pronounced beta, not beta. I think it's actually it's different. In the UK, we, we just say beta. In, in, I think it's a US-UK thing. In, in America, you say beta. Go with the seeing it's English and I live in England, I'm just going to say that I'm right, English people are right, and Americans are wrong. That's my logic because we invented the language, so we're, we're always right. <laughs> Don't take that too seriously, but it's a fair point. Oh, that's not good.
I need to beat that. I can definitely beat that lap time. I need to get like a mid 207, I think. behind the ghost but I messed up the middle sector on that ghost and this corner's flat out and this one should be as well Turning too late. Way too late. I'm hitting the side. Way too many mistakes. If I can get two temps, I can still go quicker though. There we go. More than two attempts. Eight attempts up now. So that should be 207.7. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Six nine two. Yeah, that hairpin was good. I mean, you just really have to... I think you have to kind of go in quite deep, cut back, and then you can really power out early. Yeah, that... that I, I know, I could definitely do a 206, I think, then, based on that lap I just did. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that great to begin with. I messed up a lot of corners as well. I can go probably two times quicker through that first bit and then a temp here and there through the, through the middle sector okay here we go Fine, tenth. I want an F type up there. Let's see where he finishes. And they've got a Veyron in eighth. Um, Audi TT, the back in 19th. But it's 80% Huracans. 90% Huracans. B number one. Yeah, that KSI inspiration. Super GT. Just Smiley, what's the red number to the right of your gear number? So that is the suggested gear. But so that's the gear the game thinks you should go through the corner in. But it's normally one too low. Normally you should be one above it. I felt the SLS AMG hasn't been too bad for this race either. Okay, that's an interesting choice. I mean, the thing is, right, on this game, everyone is very sheepish. Myself included. Um, and what I, what I mean is, we'll see what the fastest guy is using and just use it. So everyone's got, oh, Huracan. Everyone uses Huracan. Where well, there may well be some other cars out there. There might be. That are okay. See both my feet on the throttle. Here we go. Like this. Push it really hard. Make KSI happy. 
Change the tires. Wait, what am I on? I think everyone's on medium, so I'm gonna stick with medium. We'll see how it goes anyway. Now that you've basically mastered the wheel, do you ever feel like going back to the controller? Probably not. There's not much point really. We'll see how this goes. On medium tyres, seven laps. Let's drive nice and smoothly. I still feel as though, like, sometimes worn mediums are better than just half worn hards. We'll see, we'll see. Anyone got a link to the video where he gets called a pig by Benelli for the first time? It's called Subaru Shootout with a Dirty Driver. Google that. Or well, search for that on YouTube. That wasn't a good start. I see I was really far away from the car in front on the straight. Long race though, there's a, a big bunch of cars are going through this chicane. That's not going to end well. It's not going to end well for someone. Oh, look at these penalties. <laughs> Lap one. Judging by the speed there, I think everyone's on mediums. No one was ridiculously slow. I don't know. Slip stream with the bay one at least, that's good.
Pull me along, Veyron. You really do have to, If you lose the slipstream on the straight, you just... You just lose so much time. It's ridiculous how much time you lose. The guy behind me is in my slipstream, so it's not like I'm going to get away from him, unfortunately. There's no need for fuel saving here. Fuel's easily going to go to the end. It's just the tyres you have to worry about. No clutch, no, there's no need for them. It's easy without them anyway. Uh, that's probably not the best place to go for it. I'll leave it, yeah, no clutch. Oh, he's just shoved him into the wall there. Brutal, he's gonna get a penalty, yeah. Watch out for this guy. Is all the guys ahead are in the slip, each other's slipstream, so they're going to gain a lot on each on on me because I'm I'm not in their slipstream. But Burs, he's bottled it again. He he loves a bottle, that guy. This guy's seven tenths behind. He's probably going to get past me. Yeah, he's in my slipstream. <sighs> I still think that group ahead, they're there for the taking. If this goes well, I mean, it's going to be hard, but if they fight, and if we work together, it could happen. Oh, he's committed to that side. It won't make a difference, he's going to get past anyway. Turning way too late there. I'm in sixth. Here we go. Just catch up with that group. You never know what's going to happen there. They are going to be fighting, so that's good. That's good news. Oh, oh my! Oh my God! Oh my God! Five seconds for that. What kind of sick joke is this? What kind of sick joke is this? <laughs> Not a good lap. Not a good lap. I mean, I understand if you hit the wall too well because you can use it to help you, but... I mean, that. Five seconds of that. No way. What a freaking joke. This is the annoying thing, it's like, I lost time, isn't that enough? You don't need to penalise someone who's lost time. Sometimes, if you cut a corner, you gain time. It's like, okay, penalise them. But when you go wide and you lose time and still get a penalty, it's like, what? 
I suppose it's the, the main thing about it, it's just a deterrent. Just but just don't hit the wall. Just do not hit the wall. That's basically how it is. That's basically how you should think of it. It's not it's never gonna be the right penalty, it's just just don't do the things that give you penalties. Don't hit the wall, basically. I need to turn a lot earlier now because the grip is really going. I think, I mean, it's going to be hard. If we can still get back ahead of the Irish guy and the guy ahead of him, have both got bigger penalties than I have. So we can still beat them. Don't hit that wall. Right there, okay. That was close. A little bit too close. Oh, someone spun it. Oh, he was the leader. That was the leader. What's he done? Ripper only, mate. <laughs> oh my god, he must be. He must be punching himself in the face right now. He's, Oh, they're serving their penalties here. Okay, this could just get interesting right now. This guy is... Why is he going so deep every time into there? Really weird line. Come on, this. Please say I'm in the slipstream. Please. I don't think I am. This could get very interesting. Two laps to go. Two laps to go here. What an F-type up there. So this race is really just all about tyre wear. Which, top, which cars can do seven laps the best on one set of tyres? There's no need to pit. You just lose way too much time. You just have to deal with the crap tyres for the last couple of laps. Right. Nitton Cliff, the Irishman, he's gone through. So second good for him find the lead I think will easily win this as long as he doesn't do anything stupid he hasn't got a penalty so he can afford to be careful in with a shout though I can just get on get in the slipstream Thing is really annoying. I can't see the braking markers going into the turns. Well, we're fine behind, it's just a matter of trying to gain a position or two here. Second penalty, man. Oh, if I just didn't have that, we're beating two of these guys, guaranteed. Right, let's see what we can do, though. We get very interesting. First, going for the move. The Jagger, we're going to go for it as well. Let's see. Oh, he's, he's backing off. Super YouTube. Romeo's cousin, hello. Getting bored of constant Japanese tracks. There does seem to be this bias towards the Japanese circuits, definitely. And it is, yeah, it is a bit frustrating, especially when, like, Group 2 at Fuji comes up again. It's like, oh man, come on. But that's the way it is.
Uh, so before this, I was an auditor. That was my job. It wasn't particularly exciting. But yeah, that's what I used to do. And then I left last last year. Oh man, why are you slow down so much? Please say I don't get a penalty for that. <laughs> I could get third here. I don't. I won't get second. I could get third. I just need to serve the penalty better than he does. Very tough to do actually. I'm only two seconds off the leader at this point. Oh no. Wait. No. We both we both kept our penalties. Yes, I beat him. Got third. Woo! There we go. We both messed up the... Oh, it was actually really close. It was like less than a tenth of a second. The F-Type looked good. The F-Type was good. That's a car we could use. Third place. I'll, I'll take that, especially from 10. I will take that up seven positions. Yeah, Alsace or Saint Saint Croix. Yeah, that'd be good. I mean, we haven't seen those tracks in a long time. They come up in FIA, but I mean, they don't seem to be on the list for the daily races for some reason. Quite frustrating. Oh, right. That was good. That was good. I think the pace was there. The pace was definitely there. Um, it it looks like the Jaguar is a good car, but. The Veyron struggle. Super GT. Hi, real guy. How you doing, mate? Thank you for the donation. Yeah, Dylan was very quick there. He did really well to come through the pack like he did there. Alsace doesn't come up because literally nobody of any importance likes it. It is a weird track. But it's just like, for the sake of variety, bring something different. Um, Super GT. Don't see the point of quick hands. I think it's just like, just so you can see what I'm doing on the throttle, basically, and and the brakes. You can just see. I think it's better for like proper simulation racing. It works better for that. I think it, I mean it works here as well. Oh, right. Shall I get used to this bloody Audi R8 then? I don't like the R8 around here, but... Super GT. Solar Panel Power Adapter has donated $5. Thank you very much, Solar Panel Power Adapter. Is that your actual name? Did your mum and dad give you that name? Does your setup have a stick shift option? Yes, it does. Um, at the end of the stream, I'll, I'll show you everything. I don't want to move the camera. Well, actually, I could do. I have to be very careful. In fact, let's do it right now. Screw it. I'll show you everything. I'll show you the setup. Let me just sort this out. Everything I'm about to show you is all in the description if you want to have a look. Wait. Oh. Hopefully, Let's see. So, um, so yeah, here's the shifter, <coughs> the shifter, handbrake, pedals down there, wheel that I'm using, the McLaren GT3, GSL Elite, base, there's the screen. Uh, it's like a Samsung 32 inch curved monitor, or yeah, monitor. And there's the racing seat, Sparco, Rev, very, very comfortable. And then 
at the bottom, we've got the Simlab P1. Hopefully you can hear me. Simlab P1. Um, and there's like, then that's where my camera sits on that little thing there over this monitor. So you've got Inception right now. Woo! Hey, hello. You just lie down, turn the wheel, and if you want to win, go a little bit faster than all the others. John, Jonathan Cena. It's John Cena. I can't see you, mate. Loving the streams, also a great race. Thank you, John Cena. Dun, 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 dun. Why is the shifter on the right-hand side? Yeah, a lot of people ask that. Because in the UK, we drive left-hand, wait, we drive right-hand drive, so the stick shifter's this side. Might be this side, on my right. Um, because in most games, cars, race cars are, are left-hand drive. So the shifter's on the right in the game. So it makes sense to make it the same here. And I don't mind it. I, I've driven cars in Europe on the other side. I can drive it. It's, it's fine. What side is this? Yeah, see, like... Like this car, for example, steering wheel's on the left, so the shifter's on the right. So it would match in my setup here. Why not hate shifter? It is a hate shifter. It's both. It's sequential and it's and it's eight shifter as well. Let's do now SAS group four lobby at the end of the stream. Now now that I think of it, I'd actually rather just not bother. It's a weird track, isn't it, Alsace? Saint, Saint Croix is a re Saint Croix is a really good track. I like that. Um I remember the first weekly race, it was Group 3 at, at St. Croix Route C. It was a really good week, actually. Everyone using the 4 GT. Like, it was good racing. I need to bring that back. That was a really good combination. Instead, we get into Lagos eight times. St. Croix, saint Croix, is our, what I like to call it. I trigger all the French people. Trigger all the French people by saying Sainty Croix. Trigger all the Australians by saying Bar first. I just need to trigger everyone from every country in some way. It's fun. Just trying to get a reaction on the internet. You can always, you can always achieve that. But yeah, that's the setup. Had to fork out quite a lot for it, but it's an investment, isn't it? So, and again. Thank you to all the Patreon supporters, because that's where most of the money came from. Jimmy Hendrickson. Awesome setup. M8. Cheers, M8. Cheers, mate. For the 89 DKK. Yeah, many thanks. I'm really pleased with it, to be honest. I'm really pleased with it. As I probably should be. Damn sliding. Super. Will you share your wheelbase and in-game settings? Um, so the, the wheelbase settings... Oh, what is it? Force feedback is 100 out of 100. Right, let me go through. Uh, there's a tune button. Sensitivity I've got on 360. Uh, force feedback of a hundred. The force intense, the force feedback intensity. No force effects intensity is it? On the Panatech wheel. Um, put that down to zero. Get rid of it. In the game, my force feedback is ten. I think. So that's the maximum. Jesus, this car, man. I really struggle with it around here. I could drive it around Nürburgring, but I couldn't do it around this track. We'll enough time for one more lap.
take the grass line through there. Oh my god. It turns in really well mid-turn and then just it doesn't like going on the exit. Okay, I need to get used to that. Need to adapt. Get good, mate. As they say, as the famous as the famous saying goes, get good. We all know that famous saying, don't we? Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm doing a Kimi Raikkonen. Wait, let me see my settings. Yeah, everything's stock apart from what I've mentioned on the settings front on the Fanatec wheel. Double crunch. Who remembers when Kimi Raikkonen went down that road down there? And he got lost and he had to do, do, a, do a U turn. Leave him alone. He knows what he's doing. I'm driving the KFC wagon here. I can't even see it from here. Oh, triggered sim racing enthusiasts. What is going on? It's your boy, the slap train. Starting ninth. Olaf Biscuit. Oh, a couple of guys came from the McLaren. Interesting. Wi-Fi password has got good. Look at him with his 31.4. Look at him with his 31.4. Oh, right. Come on, racing gods, don't give me that stupid crap again where the car in front doesn't move. <laughs> yeah, Wi-Fi password, I think he's got better Wi-Fi. Was he... Is he green bar? Five bars, yeah. Wi-Fi passwords? is not giving out his Wi-Fi password anymore. Good lad. The Mustang, yeah, the Mustang was a very good, it was good around here. I remember, obviously this race has come out a couple of times, and there was one time when the Mustang and the, the two Fords, the GTLM, the GTLM and the Mustang were like the best two cars to use. And then there was a point when the Volkswagen was the best car, that weird convertible car. But the recently it's been the Audi R8. Five second penalty. Yeah, that's the annoying thing at Interlagos. You spread, <laughs> press warm up and then you just go around the pit lane for most of it. I have no knowledge about racing things. Is McLaren good or bad? Well, I mean, in real life, McLaren are typically like a, a famous and well-known brand. But in this game, they've typically been underpowered. But this specific car, the McLaren F1 GTR BMW 95, is very quick in a straight line, but not very quick around the corners. So it's a bit of a risk to use it around certain tracks. And I'd say this is a quite a risky track, but we'll see. I mean, if you're good with it, then if you drive it in the right way, then you should be able to do, do okay. I didn't know that, so they balance. They do the balance of performance around Interlagos. Okay. I suppose, yeah, they would have to pick a track. I suppose that's how they would, yeah. Let's see how the McLaren does. It's right in front of me. I've got one right in front of me, actually. It's, it's quick in a straight line. 
It'd be very hard to overtake it on, on the straights, or like impossible. Oh, he's clattered into him. Oh, for God's sake. I have nowhere to go. But... Oh, sorry. Go again. This is the problem when you're in the midfield. In a car you can't bloody drive. I have to drive this thing. Curb it. They're driving it well, to be fair. Move it through the infield. Now watch it disappear. It's tucking the system as long as I can, but it's just going to drive away. Look how quick! Look how quick it is. No, I mean it. Uh, I mean it's slipstream. I should be getting closer, really, but the thing is an absolute beast. Oh, it's really clumsy. Really clumsy. I need to have a good 10 lap practice, I think, with this car. It's a weird one. Wi-Fi password is falling down the order. Just there in sixth. Okay, just how quick that thing is. Ridiculous. Oh, that's not clean. What's happening to Wi-Fi bars really? It's just dropping right down the order. It's gone from 6th to 10th in one corner. Oh my... <laughs> Clearly my fault, obviously, but... Killed him. Send him to the realm. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> oh, man. Now go back past. What are these guys doing back here? Okay. <laughs> that was never going to work. Okay, just two practice laps. Come on. In this stupid car. Oh, it's so hard to drive. I don't like it. I'll be Wi Fi password, yeah. Get back on him. Oh, he's there, he's wide. He's not having a good race. 
Wi-Fi passwords. Oh, he's got himself another penalty. Unlucky, pal. Right there, come on. Slipstream now. Come on, Wi Fi. Your internet is mine, boy. Get back here. Honestly, what are we doing? Racing or Big Rock? What are we streaming for? And what is the best racing sim on PC, in your opinion? Thank you very much, Joe Kim. Um, I've been streaming for about two hours today. Is that what you mean? Or do you mean when was the first time I ever streamed? How long have I been streaming? Nearly two hours today. Um, my first stream was, I think about two years ago, like March 2017. Um, best simulator? Well, I really like Assetto Corsa. That's the game I always um, go towards, just in terms of fun. In terms of the racing experience, I like iRacing because... Um, that's the organisation of it. It's expensive though, that's the problem. need to learn how to drive this stupid car. So the McLaren's finished second and third, so it's possible to get that car to a decent result. Ooh. Did I just serve that? No, I didn't. I thought I did, nearly. I was very close. I thought I'd go for it. Aiming for a, a driver rating. A plus, I'm aiming for. Though, I don't think I'm... At this rate, I'm not getting it, because it, these races are very difficult. I'm not doing that well. I might just stick to the Atenza. I'm better in the Atenza, even if... Why you use both your feet? Um, that's very normal, isn't it? I'm used to it from karting, where you just left foot brake. One foot for each, it's easy. I'm very used to that. I know obviously in a real car you shift your right foot over, but um, I just use both. I'm used to it from karting, because you have one pedal for each and you use... Ooh, okay, that was, that was difficult. That was a hard race. I didn't beat Wi-Fi password, so I failed. I failed on my mission. What car should I try around there? Someone did the M3 GT around in, in fifth place. Wow. Yeah, in racing cars, it's like, that's very normal to use both feet. Like one left foot for brake, right foot for throttle. You don't drive like a, like a, a road car. Especially in you know, these cars as well, because there is no clutch. Well, there is, but it's not like a pedal. <sighs> righty, 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 righty. I want to go back to the Kinder Wagon. WRX up there. 30.7. Ah, oh, go on in. Let's see how you're doing it. Plus, yeah, it's quicker with the two feet because... If you're, if you're having to throttle and brake, like modulate both for a turn, like you don't want to 
there's a bit of a delay in taking your right foot off the throttle and putting it onto the brake. You want off on. You want it instant. So two feet's better. Yeah, he's done a very good time. Very, very good time. Second in the world, I think it was. All right, let's see how this guy's doing it. Is that handbrake? It's like you just slide in the car the whole time. Lots of curb. You really do have to abuse the curbs through centre. Oh, where's your brake? Going down the hill. Look for the 100 board, I think. There it is. After. Oh, it's just, you just have to slide this thing. It's so weird. You just have to learn how to... I mean, it was sliding for me, but I just wasn't controlling it properly. So you do have to... You have to, you have to get to the slide, but you have to better to control it. It's a very good lap. I mean, this guy clearly knows how to use this car. I can't wait for, for someone like Fuverosh to get his hands on it, see what he can do. That was a beast. Ooh, okay. Lap. Give him that. Yeah, the R8 it is a difficult car, very difficult car, but clearly has potential if you can get it right. So, who wants a Dirt Rally 2 stream? Who wants a Dirt Rally 2 stream? With my, with my shifty, shifty knobs down here and my handbrake. Who wants to see it? I've, I've, I've done a little bit of gameplay on it. I managed to get 7th in the world around one of the Spain tracks. So, it, it takes a while to really get used to the handbrake. I'm struggling a little bit, but... Um, very rewarding it's really fun i must say it's really fun don't rally two with the wheel and brake shifter oh god it is really good really good when it when you hook it all up obviously i was crashing a lot rolling over a thousand times but very difficult to get to get used to it yeah so yeah um evil norbert about the downshift yeah you can use so let's say you need to go from fifth gear to second gear for a corner. Go down to fifth to third, and then go down to second at the right moment. It kind of spins the car a little bit. Uh, so people do that. They often, or well, sometimes you can even just go down one more gear than you need to, and then go back up again just to get that rotation, just to get the car to turn. And um, that's quite a common tactic, actually. Let's do that race again. But I'm going to use the Atenza because I, I just find it so much easier. And it's about time we had a good race because something's gone wrong in every race so far. What are you using for the handbrake? So I've got the Fanatec. I just got the Fanatec handbrake basically. It's all in the description, the the setup. If you go, if you scroll right down on the description, it'll be there. And there is an FAQ, don't remember, don't, don't remember, don't forget, there's an FAQ in the description. Frequently asked questions. And on. A million Discord notifications. Have 
played WRC 7. I I haven't actually played any of the WRC games. I've, I've played none of them. I might pick one up though. I might pick up. I think number eight is coming out this year. Oh, I'm supposed to be better in this car. The Kinder Atenza. Here we go. Who doesn't love Kinder Chocolate? If you don't, you need to leave. I love it. Saying, maybe this will be a race, Stevie. No shoes. Let's hope. Third attempt. Something's gone wrong at previous two. As they say, third time lucky. Yeah, I feel better without the shoes. Actually, I mean, I have tried it with my like my karting boots, but I just think it's too much effort. <laughs> And I can feel the pedals just fine like this. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh yeah, yeah, they banned in America. Was it the Kinder Egg or the Kinder Kinder Surprise? Or something? Yeah, they banned it. Sad times, man. Sad times. Zoki in there. 31 0. He's left. Wi Fi password, man. Up there in third. I need to get on his level. I need to get on his level. I need to do like a. Like a half. Or just. I just need to lap a lot in the R8. Like 30 laps. Keep going around. And Bellin. Yeah, there we go. Bellin there. What car is he in? The McLaren. If, if Bellin can get into the podium, he's done very well. Although, uh, you should, you, based on Wi-Fi passwords, previous performance, he didn't try very well in that last race, did he? Um, should be able to get past him, maybe, if he drives quite rubbish again. <laughs> yeah, good old America. Ban, a, ban the Kinder Egg. I could have an AR-15 rifle. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. But not an egg, no. no can't do that, mate. Don't be silly. Second penalty. I hear the jealousy. I mean, I, I'm not a fan of guns. I mean, I don't, or let's just say I'm indifferent to guns. I don't care. I mean, if people want to have them, I don't care. Like, have them. I wouldn't mind going to like a shooting range and like trying them out. But. Probably wouldn't ever own one my, myself. Right, we've got, we've got the McLaren in front of us. Right. And behind, oh god. Okay. Super Gmail password. Oh, he's stopping. He's going right to the back. Oh, man, where are you going? Oh my god, 
one. You were never going to get that move. Why did he launch for that? Come on, bro. The bottle up behind me now. Well, this is a really close for race. Uh, just this race in general, race B. That's close. What's he doing? Because I was completely alongside. Just turned in. What are you want to block this, I think? Oh, he's an absolute moron, this Olaf guy. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that, but I got him. Screw him, screw that guy. What an idiot. I didn't get a, part, uh, I didn't get, didn't get a penalty for that. James Matt Foster. Turns across for no reason, then just shoves me off. Screw him. Get off. Get off the track, mate. Get sent to the realm. The population gets bigger every day. Oh, it's getting, this is going to get scrappy, this little fight here. He's off. Oh man, he's lost it. Wait, he's going back on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. Oh man, this is a lucky race. This one. Everything's going my way. I was thinking, like, where's he going to come back on? Oh, yeah. Now he's, he's off as well. I'm in sixth. Come on, let's get, keep this to the end. Three more laps. Let's break it a bit later there, I think. Moses effect, yeah. Cheers, Moses. Big man. The big man upstairs helping me out. What a legend. was worth 229 euro good stuff i love this revenue stream of ramming for money good stuff man i'll well, get into the apex boy well, over a second margin he's out of the slipstream range that's good just need to keep him there. Yeah, Zoki's a top spit player. He's, he's a very, very quick player. The guy in the lead there. He's a very good, very, very good player.
But yeah, yeah, why is he not in the top split? Maybe there isn't a top split right now. Maybe, maybe this is the top split. Because, I mean, we... The Polish guy who's the number one in the world is in here. He was in here earlier. I guess this is the top split. And I've somehow worked my way into it. gained on that last corner there. One more lap. Hey, MRT can't touch. How are you doing? And I was going to say, yeah, not many people, not that a lot of the top, top players touch the daily races. Once you've got that 70, 75k driver rate, there's not much point. Don't bother a lot of them. That's not a good corner. Wi Fi Plus was having a better race this time. Still in third. It's going to be sixth place. I'll take that. A lot of mayhem early on. Oh, we've got found our way through it. And annihilated someone at the same time, so I'm happy with that. How do the really top players practice? Probably just, you know, in custom lobbies. If you know all the conditions of the FIA race, for example, it tells you, I mean, on the on the website and on the game, it tells you all the conditions like the daytime, the amount of laps, the tyre wear, the tyre wear, the fuel wear. It tells you everything, so you can just replicate that and um, just do a practice lobby online. Okay, I'm home, yeah. Good comment. I am home. Sixth place, baby. Let's save that replay. I want to watch that. I went down in rating. Has he got anything to say? Go in, mate. What are, you go what are you going to say? That was stupid. Okay, then. It's like... I don't even get why what he's mad about. Because he turned across in the braking zone. Then push me on at turn one. Let's watch it. Let's 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 see what he's on about then. Let's see what he's on about. <laughs> to be honest though, like when I came back on, I just misjudged it. I didn't mean to hit him. Like that was just pure luck. Maybe he was saying that what he was doing was stupid. Probably not. I don't... He should have made it clear if that's what he meant. He would have said... Sorry, or something. I think he definitely meant me. He was the guy I punted off in the previous race. Okay. I can't even remember what happened in the last race. I did push someone wide. I remember that, but then I backed off and let him go back ahead. And why did um, the other guy got mad as well? This guy, he got mad at me. They're there, wait. 
Because that's Olaf Biscuit ahead of me. I mean, nothing. And he drifted wide, went for it, and I backed out. I still backed out, and that's fine. Nothing happened. I wonder if someone else. Oh, right. He's, he's turning in. It's like, I don't know, I'm there. Like, I don't. I, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I was uh, completely on the inside. And then I went to defend. And just doesn't break. It does, but it just hunts me wide. Did I collect the other guy? That's what I wanted to know. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. So I'm sorry to him, very sorry to him. And not the other guy, not the biscuit guy. I thought I'd ghost, to be honest. Yeah, that, that, that was my fault. I'm sorry to him, this guy. It's like when I was recovering, the car just slid and I was at a completely the wrong angle. I, I would have joined like at a much nicer angle, but obviously just messed it up because I slid a little bit on the, on the AstroTurf. But there we go. High quality filth. It was. It was very filthy. I was just, yeah, I didn't know what exactly happened. I, I know I took out that Olaf guy, but let's do another one. See if any more madness will happen. Embrace the madness. Why they mention the Berlin Wall? Yeah, they just have a load of history on this. It's quite cool, actually. They have, like, historic things that are going on. Yeah, the fact that I didn't get penalties is very weird. I don't know how... I, I have no idea how that didn't... I didn't get a penalty for that. I have no idea how that didn't happen. Cavalier, no one using... The attends. I'm, I'm. I'm the only one using it with you, mate. It's all about that R8. This is the annoying. This is one annoying thing, maybe, about the daily races. The fact that often one car dominates. I, I know that's not the case here because you've got the McLaren. People using the McLaren as well. But um, maybe I can give the McLaren a try. I'll do that in the next race. Use the McLaren. And his name is Super GT. But yeah, often one car dominates. Thank you for the one euro, MRT Can't Touch. Thank you very much, mate. Very nice of you. Restart. Oh, God. Wait, yes. I should be able to just do that in time. Good shout, everyone. A very good shout. <clears throat> Hopefully, she's about to get back in. Come on. Go, go, go. Hyundai is also good here. Hmm. Hyundai. Wow. I'll take your word for it. Uber Tom. Hello. Well done on um, the manufacturer series. Well done, man. That was good. I didn't, I didn't watch everything, but I watched parts of the final race and it was very, very good indeed. Mr. Aston Martin in the chat. So, Uber Tom is... Um, very good player. Oh, he was in the Paris eSports event that went on this weekend. Oh, 53 seconds. Um, so in the Manufacturers' Cup in Paris, um, he won. Aston Martin. Stuff. Hyundai, yeah, okay. Maybe, well, I've got enough money to buy a car. Maybe two. No, probably not, probably not two, just one. 
I think I'll go. You get the Hyundai. That would be an interesting shout. <laughs> Hello, give me a shout out, please. No, no, I won't do that. <laughs> when I first heard your voice, I thought you were a 30 year old man with a bald spot on his head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, not quite, not quite. Um, well, there's no bald patch. I'm not going bald, luckily. Only one, so M. Thomas wouldn't be the only Brit with a World Tour win. Yeah, good stuff. Join M. Thomas on that illustrious British list. Good stuff. Where can you buy these socks? <laughs> um, I have no idea where I got these. What do you got them for Christmas? Someone. This is actually, yeah, I've actually got a bald spot. I'm actually bald. This is a mask and a wig. And this isn't my actual face, and it's not my actual hair. You sound 45, but look 20. I wish, mate. I wish I was 20. I'm not 20. If only I had a credit card, I would donate 10 euro right now. Mate, go and get your credit card. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people um, have commented that. It's a common thing. A lot of people, you hear the voice, you think, oh, I'm a 40-year-old, 50-year-old guy. Um, but no, not, I'm not quite that old. Not yet, anyway. One day I will be. Or I might just stop, you know. I might just stop aging, get to, like, late 20s or something and just go, right, just stop there. We're not going to go to 30. Oh, my sportsmanship had gone oh. down. So we're in the crap race oh. now. Ah, uh, it's Danzel with the with the one pound. Wear two different socks next time. Oh. Hey, that's unreal banter. Can't do that, man. Can't do that, man. When I first found your video, I thought you were like forty forty plus with a beard full of white hairs. <laughs> you don't sound. You don't even sound like a forty to fifty year old. I th I think maybe it's not the voice, maybe it's just maybe it's the way I talk, like the language, it might be that as well. Thoughts on using motion control on pad for steering? Cheers, Naderade. Um, I think it's a cool thing, I think it's a cool gimmick. Um, I wouldn't use it like competitively, especially if I have a wheel. I mean, like using the motion control is kind of like halfway between the controller and the wheel. It's like that weird halfway thing. I'd rather just use one or the other but it is a good gimmick it works it's pretty good but i wouldn't use it like for proper racing what do you think you'll be doing in 10 years it's hard to say especially with youtube it's like youtube isn't a job where you go right i'm going to be doing this until i retire it's, uh, it's like, I don't, I can't imagine myself being 16 years old. Super I don't know, it's, at some point I probably will stop or d develop into something else. I don't know, it's really hard to say. Just Angel, <laughs> I've expended your last two pounds of money. So, sorry about that, mate. Does it always take this long to get a game? Um, I don't know what you mean. It just the races are at certain times. You just join and then you're in. I'm David Croft's successor. Everyone knows. I mean, that's the kind of thing like you could I could branch into. I don't know, like become a race commentator. That's something I could do. I don't know. Um, I'm not really thought about it to be honest. Or I could just make billions on YouTube and retire. He's Asian, that's cheat mode for looking young. It is actually, it is a bit of a cheat code. Cheers mum, thanks mum. Right, here we go. It's, it's basically a three car race.
So I just need to have a clean race. Get that SR back up. into Lagos. Well, not struggle, but it's not one of my better tracks, so I'll say that. This Porsche is wide. Going underneath him. Yeah, I can I can improve. I mean, you just got to put the laps in, basically. Sometimes it's a boring process trying to get better at a track, but you just got to hammer the laps, watch some replays, know which cars to use. I mean, I know which cars to use. Yeah, it's the Audi, but learn how to use the Audi round here. Just hammer the laps. Just get the consistency down. You'll get there eventually. Just dream man. Ran for money. Well, I've been doing plenty of that in the last race. Thank you very much, mate. At three, thirty eight. to be in the low 32s really. Oh, he's nearly off, almost. He's driven a bit erratically last he's at. Zero striker. Censored message. Whatever did he say? Oh, I can see what he said. Very naughty, mate. Peggy 18, mate. I can't read that out. But thank you very much. Possibly go for a move into turn one and see how this slipstream works out. Woo. Going for it, guys. Oh man, what a move. <laughs> Everyone expects you to move back out, but just stay on the inside and it opens up eventually. Long. A 
literally Montoya. Yeah, he did. He did one of them, didn't he? Turn one. I think it's just really hard for that guy to cover off all the possibilities. I mean, he did well. He covered it off. I mean, most people would have gone to the outside then, but I was committed to the inside. Most people will always move out to the outside at the last moment to get a better line. So it opens up the inside at the last second. You just have to be patient and wait for it to open up. I've got a gap now, look at that. Okay, just don't bottle it and I've got a win. In a low lobby, but a win is a win. Lick the stamp and send it. Danny Rick will be proud of that one. Do a shoey to celebrate. Get some Fanta Fruit Twist in my shoe. Oh, that's why. Uh, keep it on. I want to go that faster than that. Oh, I already have gone faster than that. 31 9, that's good. Good race pace. Or solid race pace. Good lap. Not the splits. Yeah, I'm up. It'd be a 31.7. Wait, let's have a look. Straight to the line. No. Messed up the last sector. Oh well. Straight line, the center S. Yeah, you really just got to abuse the track limits through that corner. But, I mean, as long as... It's a weird one, because I, I'd rather just... They change the track limit, so they had to actually just... Two wheels on the track, two on the curb. Super it's weird, it's like two on the curb, two on the grass. So I don't know why they've done that. Great moves, keep it up, proud of you. Olaf Biscuit! Thank you very much, man. I'll ram you off again very soon, don't you worry. I think that might be a troll post. <laughs> I don't know. 20th win. Super DT. You have committed crimes against motorsport and her people. What say you in your defense? Stop right there, criminal scum. That was a good race. 31.9. Did I get the faster lap? Yeah, I did. Good stuff. Rassi, Ragazzi, all that, etc. Bye bye. Right, let's buy the McLaren. Or a different car. And his name is Andy Thompson, YouTube. the legend from Australia. Loving the content as always, legend. Thank you very much, bro. How are you doing? Hope all is well. Um, let's see that overtake again. Super GT. Oh, and another one. He loves it that much. He's donated again. He absolutely loves it. We've got to see that replay again. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm going to get no practice in the McLaren, but that'll be the lols of the race. That will be the lols of the race. I'm a member of the criminal classes. It's true. It's true. When I leave this live stream, I'm, I'm out on the streets. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so with, with this this overtake that I did, it's it's hard for the car in front because 
you, co you cover the inside, you look behind, look behind, and most of the time the car behind will move over to the outside, and then you move back over to the outside as well. But if you, st if you just, if you're the car behind, just stay behind, and eventually they'll move over. Normally just before the breaking point. Super Eat chocolate orange and watching some majestic racing. I've also got some delicious hot black currant juice. Man, Matt Foster. Not just living life, man. You know how to live. I wish I was you. To be honest, I wish I was you. It go it goes to the like most people at this point move over to the right. I should move over to the right. That's what most people would do, but. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that inside. I'm waiting for that inside. Eventually, it opens up. There we go. Throw it in there, mate. Oh, savage move. <laughs> this guy got a good view. Have a look. Mini maniac. This is a German. He's probably thinking, oh my god, what's he doing? I'm so narrow. Oh, I fit that big boy down there. Probably like, oh god, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Up the inside. Move over to the right, Super GT. Move over to the right. He's not doing it. He's not doing it. Oh, baby. There he is. Oh, what a move. <laughs> Get wrecked, mate. Get wrecked. Get. What should you do this? Oh god, I'm, I'm going to buy. <laughs> buy the McLaren and then. We do race C. I don't know, I'm really enjoying race B here. It's just quick fire race, you know? And there's a slight drift for the turn. How about that? What's my driver rating now? 45, 187. Okay. I've gone up 2,000. I'm only I'm 5,000 away from A+. plus. Why are you resetting after every race? Okay, so I'll say it again. Whenever you watch a replay, it messes up the game. So you have to just reset it. They, they were meant to sort the problem out, but I got a reset. Um, so basically when you start a sport mode race, it often just backs out, cuts out. Um, so I had that problem, but... Oh wait, the McLaren's like 800 grand, isn't it? Have a look. But they were meant to fix the cutting out problem with the last update but it happened again earlier so I know it's 450 all, I think all group 3 cars are 450 aren't they would you do race A again probably not it was, it was good fun but I don't like the slow car races really here we go change to the car now this is oh man this is going to be hard I don't like racing with like Super barely any grip. I wish I was a legend like you, but um, but you give me the positive vibe to help me improve on this game. I hope to get good like you someday. Thanks for the great content. Mate, I ain't good. <laughs> nah, I mean, cheers man, that's a nice message. And thanks for the donation, and not just that one, all of them. Very nice of you. Very, very nice. Uh, right, let's whip out the McLaren. What else have I got? 650S, M6, Peugeot. Subaru might be alright. I mean, there is one in the top 10. But we'll give the McLaren a try. How do you check your DR slash SR number? Um, yeah, so I think the best thing to do would be go to my channel and go for the recent video, um, The Scum of GT Sport. In the, chat, in the description of that video, I put a link to GT Planet forums and there's like a list of instructions of how to do it you basically have to get your like unique number and then put it in the link i can't explain it all but um if you if you find that link to the or you can google like google gt sport kudos prime dr sr something like that Oh, right, okay, we've got one, we've got enough time to practice one lap. Need to work out some breaking points. And turn that TCS off. Is it 
front. Yeah, short front. I, just, I love the central seating position of this car. That's really cool. We well, can search, okay, M. Thomas with the extra tip there. You can just search for your PSN ID. I've never done that. I don't know how exactly it works, but I presume that's just the easiest way. Never thought of that. Sweet Jesus. Break. Forget about the braking points that got used to with the other cars. This car needs to break a lot bloody earlier. Have you got two PS Plus or do you share prime? Yeah, share, share as primary. So just got one. No need to buy two. It does it sound like a leaf blower, it does actually. It's a very weird sound. Oh, what, what the hell? What's going on there? Why am I on pole? <laughs> Wait, what's my, what's my sportsmanship rating? Ninety-four. Yes, I'm. Not, wait, that's not quite the top, is it? Well, either way, I'm on pole position. Here we go. Bloody hell. Yeah, what? Yeah, why is Creaser down there in sixth place? He's way better than that, surely. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> The foot fetishists are here. We're loving the pedal cam. Keep up the good racing. Keep up the good feet use. Super GT. Thanks, I'll do that. Keep up the good work. Cheers, Rapid Venom 19. King Willy, 47. Second place. What cars have I got behind me? I hope, I hope it's a couple of McLarens, actually. I think that'd be easiest. Yeah, it is. Two more McLarens, okay. Pick on. Get some lightweight water shoes. Trust me, it sucks cleaning sock lint out of pedals every few months. Okay, I've noted that. I could just wear my racing shoes. But... Or just deal with it. I mean, I can I can take the rubber off. Like this pedal here doesn't have. That's just like a smooth surface. This is like a rubber thing on it. Super duty. Number one, go for it. I'm gonna have the Vettel finger at the end of this race. All right, here we go. Oh, actually, got that wire there. Yeah, so from the Mount Panorama race, was it last no last week or the week before? This car was I think it was last week. This car's like 
it handles okay. I mean, it doesn't turn well, but it, it's stable. So it, it, there's no drama with it. It just doesn't have a great turning circle, basically. Why? What's going on here? I think I just need to build a big gap before Creaser comes through. Ideally. A little bit late into that. Reese has got a penalty already. What car am I driving? The McLaren F1. Recently added into Group 3. This thing. very easy to drive this car. It's really planted. Just no drama, which is exactly what I just said, but I'm just confirming it. Yeah, they are fighting back there. King Willy just isn't... The thing about the McLaren is just so hard to overtake. That's late. A little bit late. It's so hard to overtake it because it's so quick in a line. You can't overtake it on a straight. And then if if that guy in the McLaren just drives okay through the corners, parks it on the apex, not much you can do to get past it. It's the same in the Mount Panorama race. Because if you had it in front of you through the mountain section, it was hard to get past it if they didn't make a massive mistake. I suppose it's the same here because this is a really twisty infill. It's hard to overtake unless someone makes a big mistake. Reese's through. See if he beats that fastest lap of this next lap. He might have to defend, actually. He will have to defend. There's the McLaren. Bit wide again. And King Willie's packed through. That's the thing, it's so hard to defend against the McLaren. He's just so quick in a line. Just so quick. Um, no, I haven't actually. This, I've still got them. I mean, 
If you still want them, you can have them back, but I was, still, I was just going to wait until I was going to do a Forza live stream, which I haven't done in a long time. So Broken Bear has actually very kindly given me a code for Forza 7 and Forza Horizon 4. But I, I wanted to wait until I did a live stream on those games to give them away. Which I haven't actually done yet. I can't remember the last time I did a Forza live stream. I've done a couple of videos though recently. Well, thank you again Broken Bear. And Broken Bear was very kind to give me um, an, elite, an elite controller for Xbox last year. It was very nice of it. Very, very nice. Oh my god, I still need to break even earlier for that corner. Give him away. Will do, mate. Yeah, but yeah, just waiting for um, the right time when I'm doing a live stream, basically. The falls a live stream with Johnson. Good shout, actually. Not... It's good to see him streaming, so I know he doesn't really do that. I know, I'm not sure he has the time, but... Good to do something like that. Should be revising for eight levels. I keep watching you, El Chumbo. You've got your priorities correct, mate. No, but I think for studying though, it is a good idea to take breaks. Just obviously not too long. <laughs> if you just study flat out for like eight hours, it's, it's really difficult. Like your brain will just you just fry your brain. But um, oh, crease has dropped down. Oh, because of the penalty. But yeah, take a break every now and then, mate. And uh, just watch Super DC when you do take those breaks. Get in there, Lewis. You are the man. <laughs> Fantastic drive, mate. Yeah, it's a really stable car. Really stable. It's not the best hat. It doesn't. As I said, it doesn't turn the best. It still feels a bit slow. But it's very stable, very easy to drive. Which is normally not what you expect from that kind of car, which has got tons of power and loads of straight line speed. But there we go. A win is a win. We've got the fastest lap as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Another another victory. I don't know why. Oh, actually, I know why, because my SR wasn't, wasn't that great. Grand Slam victory. I can only get those victories when my SR goes down. Um, we'll do it again in the McLaren, and I think this time we'll be up there with the big boys. Right, let's. I'll just check my SR. Um, exclamation mark shadow stats in the chat. I want to see this link. Forty six two ten. Okay, I'm four thousand away now, or less than four thousand away from A plus. Um. Yeah, I'm on 99. Do that again. I mean, that car, I was slower. In the Atenza, I can do 31s in the race. In that car, I was doing low 32s. It's close, but it's just so easy to drive. And it's just hard to... It's just hard to overtake it. It's hard for people to go past you. Yes, I was fine. Okay, it was just a weird race. Weird match. All the, all the big boys just gave up. 90 to 99 is top split, yeah, okay. That was weird then, because I was going from like starting 10th with the top players in the world, all of a sudden to... I guess maybe they changed the split maybe? I don't know. That's a possibility. Right. 
people qualified in? Anyone in the McLaren? Trevisio's 31... 31 9 in the McLaren. It's R8s. It's R8s everywhere. Olympic JM with the Ford. 31.4, that's good luck. 9.11. No one's really using that. 31.7. There's always just a drop off after 10, okay. It's just weird, like going from 10th to pole. It just, it seemed weird. But I'll take it. A win is a win. Wouldn't mind having that again, to be honest. Seaside needs to be a daily race again. I miss it. Just anything different, you know? <laughs> just something different than Interlago Street 3. I mean, I don't mind this race. It's just super duper. had it so many times. How to drink water bottle in two seconds? Two second, man. Whoa. I'm not that good at drinking water that quickly, bro. This isn't the place. This isn't the right place. You need a how to YouTube channel for that. I'm sure there's a video on how to drink water in two seconds out there somewhere. But unfortunately, it's not on my channel. Let's try and get a very low 32 or 31. Try and beat our time, possibly, if we do it. No, I wasn't that quick. I still don't know how to take this corner, it's a really hard one. So I prefer just going in early like that. Going hard and early. What she said. His name is Super GT. Joe Flanagan. We should add Macau into the game. Oh my god, that would be absolute chaos. It'd be a cool track to, to drive though. Be absolute mayhem in in daily races though. It'd be a very interesting track if they added that. Very very interesting. I'd love to. I, I'd like to see how a daily race on that track will go. For those of you who don't know, it's a very twisty street circuit in I think it's in Hong Kong, isn't it? Oh, almost beat my my PB there. I could beat this. Come on. Oh, well, there we go. I'm a 10th up. Can definitely beat it. Yeah, Macau will be a very cool circuit. It'd be an absolute mess, though. Of that, I have no doubt. How has YouTube full-time been for you so far? Yeah, I mean, I've enjoyed it. It's, it's, it's harder than it appears, but... I, I've liked it. It's just hard going from a job where you're like in an office with a lot of people to working on your own. That was the hard part. Like you're being alone a lot. That is quite tricky to deal with, I would admit. But overall, I like it. so much time could have had two attempts I'm only going to have half a attempt time at least. That's a good that's a good thing. I'm 
improve it again. Come on, let's do it. Nah. No, oh, way too much grass. And there's the penalty. I could do a mid 31 in this car. Oh well, good attempt. Improved at least. doing that weird oh I suppose you are extending in a way but I don't think you gain time that um, bait balance minus three the front <sighs> right yeah the fastest guys are in the Audi R8 it's just I struggle to drive it I think I need to have a long session in that car but I won't do that on the stream it's kind of boring to, it might be boring to watch because I need to have like more than half an hour in it. Okay, here we go. Starting fourth this time. Need to see some discos. Yeah, they're not, you know, they don't sell them in a lot of places, but I know a place where they do sell them near me. Go and get some. I haven't had them in like 10 years. But oh, they are amazing. They are some of the best crisps. This goes. It's just, it's just, with a crisp, you need the right shape. Obviously, you need the crunch, but that's natural with crisps. But with discos, they're just the shape and the sizzle on your tongue as you chew it, as you bite into the roundness. Oh man, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's like a hula hoop. I love the shape of a hula hoop, just the way that that crunches. In your teeth and I could go on for hours go on for hours why do you capture GT Sport 30 FPS instead of 60 I don't I capture a 60 never had the bell give them a whirl and it's all your fault share prices of discos exceeds exceeds the whole FTSE 100 Share price is going through the roof right now for discos. Oh, we've got Matman in the race. Where's Matman starting? He's a mod in the chat. And he's about to get sent to the realm. That man, oh, he's behind me. Okay. He's behind me. Pickled onion monster munch. Monster munch, man. Was it flaming hot flavour? Those were the those were the best. I love those. Monster munch. Those were the days, man. Those were the days. Here we go. And discos and Fanta. Ooh, late defence there, but 
I, I, I wasn't gonna go for that. Just Matt Foster again, man. Don't defend, just go, just go. Keep up with the guys ahead. I'm not gonna go for I'm not gonna go for a move here. I'm gonna wait for the main straight. No point going for a move here. struggle for that final sector but see how this car unleashes its speed not gaining too much but the cars ahead are in the slipstream You were on the previous lap. That man's in this race. He's, he's not getting left behind. Ooh, there's going to be contact there. Couldn't really capitalise on that move, unfortunately. Might have got third, but couldn't really defend it. Into surprise, yeah. Sponsored by them too. An Oreo, an Oreo car. Only a sponsored boy. Oh, we moved very late. Whew. How did that work out like that? No, none of us got a penalty. Oh man, Jesus. It's close. Just need to get close to him on the straight, on the final turn basically, and then he's, he's good through this middle sector. Got away from me. I don't think he's in the slipstream, so I should gain on him here. Quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, he's not in it. Catching, yeah, I'm gonna gain now. There we go. His name is Super Duty. Baldy, thank you very much, mate. Good to see you again. Where is Brazil in favour F1 track this? It's very high, yeah, it's up there. Because it just produces such great racing. God, this guy's swerving so much.
Oh, he's gonna have slipstream. Should be able to go for a pass here. Just crash. I didn't catch the message, I'll have to read that one just after the race. Thank you very much. Need to keep it cool for this final sec this middle sector now. me out. Come on, get it back. What this guy is an absolute fucking twat. Oh my god, he knows that he doesn't know how to defend properly. Swerving all over the place. Absolute bell end, fucking hell. There's not much that makes me swear, but like that was stupid what he was doing. He was doing it every lap. Going over to the left and back to the right and left and right. Oh my god. Jesus, he needs to get punted into the realm, that guy. Idiot. Absolute twat that guy is. Am I, yeah, have I gone up more driver rating? I just move on, he's not gonna answer. Should have rammed the guy for. I don't want to ram him off, but I mean, he was driving stupidly that whole race. It's just annoying because, like, he probably just sat there like, oh, wow, yeah, I've got second. Wow, I'm good, aren't I? But it's like, yeah, but you're just driving like an idiot. I mean, it's okay. You can block one side and come back. As long as you don't come back completely to the racing line and leave a car with. But he was coming back more onto the racing line every time. Um, just to read that message. I want to do that race again. If he's there, he's, he's in big trouble. Very, very big trouble. Uh... Uh, been addicted to videos for the last few months. Much love from the US. Thank you very much, Crash. And thanks again for the second donation there. Very nice of you. The McLaren's very good, though. I think it was true. Was it true at the other race? I mean, a lot of the time, the qualifying car isn't the best race car. The best car for qualifying isn't the best for the race because of the, like, the top-end speed and things like that. Have you searched, have you seen KSI's new necklace? Can't say I have, no. Can't say I have. That race could have easily been in your scum of GT Sport video. I think it's about, yeah, the thing about it, I said in that video was like, you know when, if someone's- Super GT. Round for this tenner. Jeez, Proton Bell. 
Oh, I'm going to send him to the realm now, mate. Ram for money. There it is. There's the cash. Now here comes the ram. But yeah, I said in that in that video, um, it's the people. If if someone's just going to like go on for a full on ram, it's like I understand what it's like. Obviously, it's not a good thing, but at least I know what they're doing. It's the people who are really quick, or they use sneaky tactics. That's that's those are the people you got to watch out for. <laughs> we'll throw money down to ram this guy off. Oh man, <laughs> for the Slovenian, we want blood. Are you not entertained? This would be like the gladiator moment. I'm going to kill him in a minute. Are you not entertained? Chat demands a ram. <laughs> oh baby. What car is the least twitchy when accelerating out of corners in group three? Ooh. Um, oh, it's hard to say because there's so many of them. There's like 30 cars, but I haven't tested all of them. I mean, this car is pretty good. It's very solid, actually. Um, oh. It's a hard question to answer, really. The Slovenia 70k driver rating. I mean, probably from doing scummy tactics like that. Like, he's clearly got speed. He's very quick. No doubt about it. But it's just... Just the, the way he defended... Uh, coming down to this corner, like, he'd move over to the left. And then he'd come all the way back to the right again. It's like, you can't do that. Or well, you should do that. Like, if you have any sportsmanship about it, you would do that. You pick a side. <laughs> Like you You're the only thing keeping me awake at work. That sounds like a good job. One way you watch Super GT. You want a night shift or something? But many thanks, mate. If he's in this race, he's he's going down. He's going down. Right, not all. Thank you very much for the quit. Good man. Right, come on. We've got 31A. I can beat that. I can beat that definitely. I can go for a. I can go. I can do a seven or a six. Just have to get it all hooked up. Watching Super GT for a living. What a job, man. Super GT. Any pantyhose. That's on the other website. Straight after this stream. Oh, God, that was an awful center S. Is there Costa? A caster? Yeah, so join me on pornhub.com oh, straight after this stream. So the foot, the foot enthusiasts move move along to that website with me. But anyway, need to set a good benchmark here. I, I can do, I can do a thirty-one seven or a six in this car again. This car is incredibly stable. Like this, I'm not even having to correct it at all. Well, okay, there a little bit, but like, really, I accelerated a little bit too early. But on the most part, this car is very easy to drive, which is totally not what I expected from it. It's not a car you think is easy to drive. Really powerful McLaren F1, but. That's the way it is. Right, here we go. One final lap. Let's go. Keep it on. Keep it on. Wide. 
too wide. Still, still improving a little bit, right? Maybe. like two turns on that final turn. Be a low 32, but I don't think I would have beat my record anyway. I messed up the first sector. Thirty two zero, that'll do. Do you drive better without shoes? Yeah, I, th I think I don't think I need need to wear footwear for this. Um I think it's fine with the socks. There's enough grip on these pedals. It's fine without that. Okay. Oh, he's not here. He's backed out. Damn, man. Ooh. I'll remember his name. What was his name? I'll look back on the replay. We'll find him. We'll find him one day. This is an ongoing episode. I don't think you've escaped there, Slovenian guy. We'll find you. I have a particular set of skills. I will look for you. I will find you. I will kill you. My name is Super Gtimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the Shadow Realm. General to Ram Legions and loyal servant to the true Emperor, Kimi Raikkonen. Husband to a punted wife. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Super GT. He's only wearing socks to cover up his painted toenails. It's true. It's true, mate. I've got a weird fetish like that. You wouldn't want to see my feet. You wouldn't want... Well, maybe you would. Maybe you're weird like that. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, 31.8 on the grid. I can go quicker. I need to... I don't know if I should learn the Audi, because I think the McLaren... I prefer the McLaren, anyway. My driver rating. Forty-seven thousand with three thousand away. What do you think of the rallying at the World Tour? It was a bit of a weird choice, but it's an exciting race to watch. I'll give it that. I don't think you should have that as like a proper final race. As a repertage race, okay, kind of works, but it was good fun to watch. I'm not sure they. I'm not sure if they'll do it again. I don't know. What's up to Carissa? Yeah, he seems a bit slow here. His qualifying lap isn't all, isn't all that great. Quiet enough there to go for that move. Would have been a rather lungy move. Oh! Jesus, okay.
there's contact up here. I didn't, that's kind of helped my line. That was not a good first lap. again <laughs> you want to see more feet Woody wants more feet just make the fake just make the pedal cam the entire screen so you can't see anything else just my feet you can't even see the race how about that okay, these two guys are here for the, for the takeout Come on guys, do something really stupid and next turn. Just like kill each other. Just wipe each other out. That's it. Come on. Go for it. He back right out, he had the inside line then. Why did he back out? He didn't back out against me, just went for it. commentary just my blissful audio and my feet how about that I'll do a special stream just for you mate here we go should we go for a savage lunge up the inside again so how's it going drop to the inside Getting through there, boy. Right, here we go. Third. Good. Pull away now. Right. Just you two fight back there and kill each other, please. Right. A bit wide, a bit deep. That's good. Right, 
That beta was quick up there. Okay, still on me. Won't be a completely trouble-free final lap. What's my foot size? Um, in the UK, um, nine. Sometimes eight, depends on... Depends on the exact type of thing that I'm buying, but normally it's eight or nine. If I'm buying football boots, it'd be nine. So. Cheers, Jay Black. This is a professional handbrake action. I don't even know if it works on this game. I haven't tried it. Let me try it as we go over the line. Many thanks for the donation, mate. Yeah, I don't know what the UK size is in EU and American size. Beetle was actually the quickest guy in this race. I suppose he does have the benefit of the slipstream. Okay, that was a good race, I suppose. Like, a bit disappointing at the start, but we made it back, got to third. I think that's about as good as I could have got. American is just one size bigger, okay. Oh. oh, that just revved the engine. It, that didn't feel right. That wasn't handbrake, surely. Oh, it's hot in here, Jesus. I'm going to open my window for like a minute. So let's try to go this side. Get some fresh air in it. Set off with that result. Pretty even fastest laps of the top four, like 32s with 30s. Let's I'll be back in a moment. Super GT. Cheers, MC. I thought pigs had hooves, not feet. <laughs> savage banter there, mate. That's some savage banter you've got there. On a little refill. Banter fruit twist. Yeah, the, tr the, the drink of choice is Fanta fruit twist today. Uh, what's my driver rating now? I reckon I could get up. 47,827. Ooh. What do you reckon? I'm going to stay online. I would normally leave by now and end the stream, but I want to get this 50k DR. Do we do a race C? What are we feeling, guys? 
you shift manually? Yes. No worries, um, Medis. I, it was a, it, it just caught me by surprise, that move. I don't think it was a bad move, it just caught me by surprise. I was like, oh, didn't expect it. <laughs> right, I'm gonna, let's, let's do one. Let's do one of these, and then I might need one or two more of the um, race B. Right, let's just jump in with the with the Lambo again. Unfortunately, I don't have too many cars. I do need to get a bit more money. What do you think about the Huawei P30 coming out soon? I have no opinion on it. I I don't even know it existed, so I don't think anything. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. It's like, this is a risky race, although it's risky for SR, not for, for, not so much for DR, but we'll try and have a careful race. <laughs> try. Right. Have you ever played an instrument? No, I haven't, actually. Um, no. <laughs> I wouldn't mind learning the keyboard or the piano. Let's get a better run. Here we go. Got enough time. Oh, I've only got time for one lap. Yeah, you need to. Although in the last race I started tenth and I got through to third, and I had a clean race. I don't actually know I got that five second penalty, didn't I? Um, well, I know, I know what to expect now with the tyre with the tyre wear, because I I just got caught out by the tyres not having any grip and hit the ball. Uh, my current phone is a Huawei uh, P20 Pro. I before that though I had two LGs, I had the G6 and then I had the G3 before that. Super G2. Cheers, cut off. What big feet you have. Yeah, man. Just zoom right in on those feeties. Cheers, mate, for the donation. Good to see you again. Yeah, I mean, Huawei. I, I, when I went to Mexico last year in October, there's a guy you might have heard of called PTG Coops. He's big in the Forza community, especially. Very good painter, really good. And um, I had the G6 back then, and he, he had the Huawei P20 Pro, and he was taking photos, and they were just so much better. Like, that camera on that phone is ridiculously good. Um, and as someone who takes photos and shares them on Instagram and Twitter, I thought, I oh thought this is rubbish, you know? I thought it's worth me investing in a proper in a, in a phone with a good camera. So that's why I went for it. In the Linkin Park song Forgotten, I can't even remember that one. You bring the thought back, I'm telling you. I see it right through you. Change through to feet. I'm completely lost, I'll be honest, but I vaguely remember the song. I would have listened, I would have heard it at some point in my life. Super DT. Watson, please say punted into the shadow realm. Punted into the shadow realm. There you go, mate. Cheers, Watson. TYVM, bro. Yeah, I think with phones, um, 
I mean, I had a specific need. I needed the camera, and it was, it's just worked so well for me. So that's fine. But I think with most phones, if you're just using Twitter and Instagram, it's like most of them are just going to be the same. Or like just log into Facebook, and that's it. So like, you could just use any phone for that. The problem is a lot of phones they. They just get really slow after like a year and a half, which is really annoying. I know, I know why they do it. They want to get you a new phone. They want you to buy a new one, but it's still annoying. Easy to do that corner flat out. I need to be more brave. And his name is Super GT. He's back. It puts lotion on to feet. Wait, does this reference to your last donation? I don't know. I have no idea, but cheers. Thank thanks a lot, bro. Starting tenth again. Okay. I mean, last race, I, I will be honest, we got a little bit lucky with some of the incidents. Three. Super GT. Hope that happens again uh, and avoid most of the crashes. RIP Chester Bennington, two years uh, this July. God, already? Two years ago, nearly. Man, that felt like last year. That's gone really quick. That's very. Yeah, yeah. I mean. We've had so many of these singers, um, or like musicians, like Chris Cornell died not too long ago, and Chester Bennington, Keith Flint. Seems a lot of these guys in there are like 40s and 50s. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's amazing how you can like, have everything have a family, have kids, have a lot of money, all the money you need, the lead singer in a big band, touring the world, and then like, you still want to kill yourself, it's like, it can happen to anyone really, can't it? Oh, God. No one's immune to it, unfortunately. Yeah, Chris Cornell is a really, really good singer. Um, was it James Bond theme tune for... Casino Royale. It's my favourite um, intro for a James Bond film. Uh, his one, Chris Cornell's one. Yeah, if you're not happy, uh, it's amazing though, like, or well, not amazing, but like, if someone who has kids and then they still think it's, they still feel like they, they don't want to live, even with children, that's, that's, that's really bad. Yeah, that is the thing, uh, John Day. Yeah, definitely. Like the fact that you're just being analysed and watched. Like the media's always always on you. you can't do anything wrong. You've got cameras in your face all the time. You've got the newspapers writing things. Got... Yeah, that, that that isn't like that isn't a good thing about being famous. There's downsides to it. Right, here we go. Seven laps of mayhem are underway. I think the main aim is just have a clean race. Just pick off a couple of positions if we can, but... Messy. 
Yeah, I'll take that. Gain two positions. Let's go, mate. I'm not going to go past you. There's going to be so many penalties. Just absolutely must avoid them. He's going to go wide there. Here's mate. ever said you're Super GT in public? Um, I've only, I only remember one incident. Wait, let me just get through this corner. Oh, he's deep. A bit of contact. Um, bumper cam bomb. The only time I remember was, um, I was at the Goodwood Festival. Um, so the, this is the, the big car show. And, this was like 2017. And some guy just walking the other way, I was just walking down the road, walking down the path. Some guy coming the other way. Hey, you're super GT. <laughs> that was it. Just talked for like a couple of minutes, but that was about it really. But that's the only time. I never really had it otherwise. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Why is he going into that gap? That... And why was I going into that gap? Should have backed out, really. Should have both backed out. Oh, super <laughs> Asim is waiting for me. He will look for me, he will find me, and he will kill me. Good old Asim. Glad those episodes are over. type in the lead is really quick. The good thing about this track is that the straight is so long I can read the comments. Yeah, I shouldn't have done this race. Well, we'll see what the DR... What happens to the DR? Wait, what's the number on my car? Three. Oh, God. That's not good. Yeah, that slowdown message is right in the way. It's re really annoying. Guys ahead. This, is, this is where the tyres are going to begin to start going off through this little chicane here. Okay, just kept it within the walls.
gained on the guys ahead. Gained about half a second through there. Just not enough to get in the slipstream, annoyingly. But it's good progress. We do that again on the next lap. So the guy in the lead is uh, driving the F-Type and he's he's pulling away and he's not obviously he's at the front so he's not getting slipstream well the German behind has just gone in the pits let's see where he finishes because that's interesting I don't think he'll be able to make that time back there's no way I've just lost more than half a second on this straight because of the slipstream. Because I'm not in it. No, I've lost more than a second. I've lost nearly two seconds. No, sorry, nearly a second. Ridiculous, really. Okay, I remember lap four was the lap where things really became difficult through the chicane, so I have to be really careful this time. Bit better. Could have been quicker, but at least I didn't get a penalty. I just can't catch up. <laughs> right, the lead is just winning so easily. Wait, uh, well, how far has he got? He's got a couple of seconds at least. Over a second. Oh yeah, I'm doing a no-stop. It's a no-stop race, this. 100%. There's no point in pitting. Yeah, it is annoying, isn't it? That slow-down message. I need to use... The, the, this is why chase count is probably the best, because it's out of the way a little bit better. But yeah, I can't see the brake boards overhead. Well, I can, but it's difficult. Oh my god, no grip. <sighs> well, unfortunately, I think this might be a quite boring race for me at the end. Tires are dying. The dying of death. Dying of death. I can't catch up. I just can't. Oh, I actually lost some of my power there. Oh, man. <laughs> This is such a boring track in Group 4. They need to give it... They need to let us use the um, Tomahawk. That's deep. Oh god, here we go. Two more laps. I'm happy when I'm on alone, can't get punted. That's true, that's very true actually. 
I'm out of punt range right now. Yeah, with the tyres, um, obviously there's a lack of grip, but you just adapt how you drive a little bit to turn in a little bit earlier, brake a little bit earlier. Um, it is hard, but you have to adapt to the way you're driving. It's doable. Oh god, break it up too late there. Serve some of the penalty. I think it's just a matter of keeping ahead of this guy behind it by enough so that I can serve the penalty and stay where I am. Stay in sixth place. I think at the moment I should be okay. really struggles now. And the guy's just caught up half a second. 2.2 behind. This might be quite close actually. Okay, one more lap. How much time do I need for a 4.3 second penalty? Maybe two seconds just under two seconds if I get it if I serve it dead right yeah so yeah so in terms of serving the penalty for those who don't know it's best to serve it just before the finish line because if I serve it now then I have to take so long to get back up to speed so you lose a lot of time all the way down the straight um, when you do it on the finish line you slow down but then you're not losing any time because the race finishes you don't have to get back up to speed again so you lose the least amount of time by doing it just before the finish oh he's two seconds behind now that <sighs> 2.1 i gained a little bit gonna be close and I have to I have to get it right as well, which I didn't on the previous race. Um, yeah, so if you don't if you don't serve the penalty, it just rounds it up to the next second um, and adds it onto your race time. So if I just cross the line without serving this, oh that's time lost. If I just went to the end without serving it, um, it will just add five seconds because it just rounds up to the next second, so five. And then my race time will just have five extra seconds on it. So I can't afford to do that here because the guy is only two seconds behind. So I can't even see where the bloody finishes. There it is. Ah! Oh man, look how close that was. I think there was like a tenth left on that. I almost served it perfectly, it just didn't. <laughs> Does it affect SR kicking the penalty so long? Uh, I don't know, I don't think so. I think it just matters how many penalties you get in the race, not how long you keep doing or whatever.
So at the end there, actually the the Jaguar lost out. So I guess the tire wear isn't the best on that, I think. It was very close, yeah, it was a tenth. But it was only because I, I didn't serve it. I, had, I must have had a tenth left on there. But, uh, oh well. My sportsmanship went up. That's a good thing, despite getting that penalty. Right, what is my driver rating now? Oh, it didn't change. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and I've just missed that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not waiting. We're going to call it there, lads. We're going to call it there. I think next time... I mean, I'm... What's my driver rating on my main account? 49, 5, 6, 9. They're basically the same rating now. Um, let's just... Just collect these achievement things. And his name is Super GT. Gibrom Sunrock. Buy some PlayStation socks. Will do, mate. Will do, Chief. PlayStation socks. They sell. I mean, I suppose they sell them. Don't know. There's, there's this really. Cool, I saw an advert on Facebook of this. Um, it's like motorsport livery socks. They got like the Aston Martin Golf livery. Um, like just things like that, just classic motorsport liveries on socks. Might have to get some of them. Um, almost level 30. But yeah, thank you so much everyone for tuning in. Um, hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you all for just watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to, to of course hit the like button. Just, just smash it, mate. Just smash it. If you enjoyed, only if you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy it, then don't do it. Um, and again, thank you to, of course, all the uh, donators, all the Patreon supporters, and all you good viewers for tuning in and watching the video. That's that's the best thing. But that's all for me today. Zavisat Zavisic just apologised. Is that the Slovenian guy who was like s swerving all over the place? I don't know. When are you on next? Maybe tomorrow, because I was thinking of doing Dirt Rally 2, but we'll see. Have a look. But yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Much love, as always. Um, I'll see you next time. Um, it's all for me. Stay safe out there. Don't get rammed. Don't get sent to the real. Oh, that's a bit awkward. Pedal cam's still on there. Lol, get rid of that. Start that process again, shall we? See you later. Bye bye.